Hi, I'm Tracy from Grantham Breeder Services here in Lincolnshire. Thanks for clicking on our video. We just wanted to share with you what our clients can expect when we do a stud dog semen evaluation test. Today we're using a fresh raw sample that we've collected. We can also run this test for any shipped chilled samples we receive just to check viability before we do an insemination. So this is what we use, we use the ice sperm, um, our sample is already loaded into there, it's already in the microscope at the back, so we simply click analyse, start analysis, oh don't think I pressed it, and here we can see it gives us the concentration of the sample. This is actually a substandard sample. This is very poor. We wouldn't um, be recommending using this sample. It's a dog who is actually producing very small litters. So the owner was suspicious that there was a problem. It only has 6% motile semen. So very useful tool for us. Now, what I prefer to do, um, it, that just takes a minute to give us the semen concentration and progressive motile sperm cell percentage. Um, like I say, that's a substandard sample. What I also prefer to do here is analyze the sperm cell morphology microscopically. So I prepare a stained slide and we're looking for any abnormal sperm with any deformities that would prevent them from swimming to the egg and then fertilizing it once they get there. If we can just have a look on the microscope, this is a slide that's been prepared so we're just checking um, that there are no tail deformities, that the mitochondria is a good size and that there are no head nodules. And the ideal is 70% normal morphology of a sample. Once we've collated the data from the tests, we provide a certificate for the stud dog um, showing our findings. If it's a substandard sample, like we've seen we've got here, what we would do is suggest an improvement plan for that dog to the owner. Um, if anyone wants to arrange an appointment for Grantham Breeder Services to run you a stud dog semen evaluation test, please contact us via our Facebook page. There's a telephone number on there also, and we're hoping soon the website will be up and running. Thank you.